Syrian Arab Army restores security and stability to Rangoos after eliminating a large number of terrorists. Al Jafari says Pillay has ignored the terrorist massacres in Kesab and is part of the orchestra of accusations against Syria. Scores of Iraqis are killed or wounded in terrorist blasts rocking several neighborhoods in Baghdad. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. The Syrian Arab Army units have reportedly concluded their operations in Rankous, restoring security and stability to the town after eliminating a large number of terrorists. In Aleppo and Idlib, Syrian Arab army units inflicted heavy casualties among the terrorists, destroying their gatherings and hideouts, including all weapons and ammunition inside, in a number of neighborhoods and towns. In Aleppo, Syrian Arab army fended off an attack by an armed terrorist group on the residents of Krum Beit Burro, killing many terrorists and injuring others. Also, in a series of operations carried out by the Syrian Arab Army, many terrorists were killed near the central prison and the industrial city, as well as in al Ramun, al Rashidin suburb, Khan al Asal, and Hmaymat. Besides, Syrian Arab Army targeted several hideouts and gatherings for the terrorists in the villages of Baidin, al Jdaide, Arbid, Kweris, Darit Azza, Qubtan al Jabal, Khan Tuman, Urm al Kubra, and the journalists' residential housing in Aleppo countryside, inflicting heavy casualties among them. In Idlib, Syrian Arab Army units destroyed several terrorist hideouts near Jeft al Khaj Hamoud on the road of Jusr al Shagur al Janudiyya, killing many terrorists. Syrian Arab Army also killed and injured many terrorists in a series of operations in Khan al Sibyl, Qar al Ghazal, and to the west of Abu Dhuhur Airport, as well as on the road of Aleppo Saraqib in Idlib countryside. For the second time within days, competent authorities confiscated in Palmyra, in Homs countryside, precious relics which date back to the first century AD, prepared for smuggling outside the country. The ancient city of Palmyra has witnessed several attempts of theft for its relics by terrorist groups who tried to destroy and steal its historical treasures. Earlier, competent authorities confiscated five pieces, which date back to the late second century AD. They included a statue of two priests, one of them beheaded, in addition to a statue of a lady wearing jewels. Syrian Arab army units foil an attempt by armed terrorist groups to infiltrate from San in the direction of Al Mishrafe village in Homs eastern countryside, killing and wounding a large number of armed men. Syria's representative to the UN, Dr. Bashar al Jafari, has stressed the presence of a solid offensive alliance among the Turkish, Israeli, Qatari, and Saudi authorities aimed at challenging the Syrian government and sending takfiri terrorists to Syria. During a press conference, al Jafari read out the briefing presented by the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navy Pillay, at the UN Security Council on the situation in Syria, affirming that Pillay was part of the orchestra led by influential members of the Security Council to level accusations against the Syrian government. Pillay has not visited Syria and has disregarded all the information presented to her by the Syrian government, Al Jafari added. Al Jafari said, Pillay has been biased in connection with the Syrian crisis since it began. He pointed out that Pillay did not refer in her briefing to the thousands of takfiris who have been committing massacres in Syria and mentioned nothing about the Turkish government's role and involvement in the terrorist attacks, particularly the chemical ones. He said, the Syrian government has addressed scores of messages in general and 10 messages on the recent leakage at the Turkish Foreign Minister's office, as well as the recent Turkish aggression on Kesab near the borders. And she made reference to her, to this assessment that she gave in August. 
Pope Francis of the Vatican has expressed deep pain over the assassination of priest Francis Vanderlacht by an armed terrorist group in Homs. He addressed an urgent appeal to silence the sound of arms and the violence and stop the war and destruction in Syria, calling for honoring human law so that the aspired for peace may be reached through dialogue and reconciliation. Welcome back. In an attack launched by Takfiri terrorists on the Lebanese army, an officer and two soldiers were wounded when gunmen opened fire at their convoy in Akkar, north of the country. Media sources stressed that the army began a search campaign in Akkar to apprehend the perpetrators. Meanwhile, the Lebanese army continued to implement a security plan in Tripoli, chasing terrorists there. The Lebanese army opened fire at a car carrying two terrorists after they refused to stop at a military checkpoint. Finally, in Iraq, 16 people were killed and dozens injured following a series of car explosions which hit a southern city and an ancient souk in the capital, Baghdad. In a Sadun park in the center of the capital, two explosive charges killed and wounded scores. In al qasimiya north of Baghdad, a similar explosion near Baghdad gate wounded scores of citizens. Another explosion in Al-Ma'amil neighborhood also caused many injuries among civilians. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.soi. Now to latest business and market news with Vani Gunjian, but after a short break. <laughs>